The Mary Seacole Programme is a six-month leadership development programme for aspiring and first-time leaders. It is grounded in reality with real workplace application. Mary Seacole lived in Victorian times and nursed wounded soldiers in the Crimea. She is remembered for her caring skills and her compassion, but also her determination and tenacity. She was a frontline leader, giving care directly to the people who needed it most, and has been voted one of the most important and inspirational black people in British history. The programme has been designed by the NHS Leadership Academy in partnership with experts from the Hay Group, a global leadership consultancy. As a participant, the learning you will undertake develops your knowledge and skills in leadership and management. The content has been specifically designed to give you a great platform from which to grow or expand the knowledge, skills, attitudes and behaviours you'll need as a leader in a health or care setting. Alongside developing your leadership, the programme also builds capability to improve services as well. You will explore how to lead service improvements so that you're able to make real changes in your own work area. But that's not all. In addition to the key skills of leadership and service improvement, the redesigned Mary Seacole programme also develops the fundamental management skills that first-time leaders told us were core to making a great job of leading their team. You can undertake the programme in one of two ways. The first is as a national programme with multiple intakes a year forming into regional cohorts of about 40 participants in each. In the second format, the Academy will work directly with individual healthcare organisations to deliver a locally tailored programme. All of the online content is delivered through the NHS Leadership Academy's own virtual campus and the content is exclusive to Mary Seacole participants. Through the virtual campus, you will have access to the programme films, interactive content, learning logs, discussion forums, as well as access to online resources and a library. It's this online content with which you'll spend most of your time whilst you're working through the programme. To complement the online content, you will also attend three one-day face-to-face workshops where you will work with two expert tutors, the rest of your online tutor group and one other group. These workshops are designed to support you to develop your leadership skills and behaviours, focusing on topics such as influencing skills, improving effective team working, coaching and interviewing. Each workshop draws on the online content, bringing it to life and giving participants a chance to practice their leadership behaviours and examine the impact on others. These events will be delivered around the country. The programme is delivered in 12 bite-sized manageable units, each taking about 5-10 to 10 hours of online study time. Eight of the units are sequential as they build on each other as the programme progresses. So let's have a look at what they are. Unit 1 launches a programme and asks the question, why does leadership matter? Unit 2 looks at care, patients and their context. Unit 3 explores me, my role as a leader and my responsibilities to lead a diverse workforce. Unit 4 explores teams and team working, whilst Unit 5 looks at relationships and influencing within the wider healthcare system in which you work. Unit 6 investigates the importance and impact of organisational culture, leading on to Unit 7, which focuses on performance. Unit 8 offers really practical tools for leading service improvement, whilst the other four units, Units 9, 10, 11 and 12, are flexible and can be taken at any point you choose. These are the units relating to the core management skills of Fundamentals of Finance, Recruitment and Selection, Fundamentals of HR, Appraisal and Annual Review. There are a number of things for you to undertake to successfully complete the Mary Seacole programme. You will need to submit a single 2,000 word assignment, attend all three face-to-face workshops and contribute to the tutor group discussion forums throughout the programme in every unit. Your successful completion of these things will lead to an NHS Leadership Academy Award in Healthcare Leadership. The main challenge of the programme from your perspective will be how to combine study and work, so think very carefully of how you're going to fit all of this in. Completing the Mary Seacole programme isn't the end of your leadership journey, however. Some participants have returned to the Academy some time later to undertake the Elizabeth Garrett Anderson programme, which leads to an accredited master's degree. 
This is not an automatic right, and participants who apply must demonstrate that they fit the aspiring senior leadership profile that the Elizabeth Garrett Anderson programme requires. However, if you're new to leadership or aspiring to your first leadership position, the Mary Seacole programme is a great place to start.